morning everyone. My name is Vinita Madonsa from the Department of Hospitality Science of Milagris College. Today I'm here to talk on a topic called as flower arrangement. Now basically we know flower arrangement nothing but combining different flats making it a base in a container and making it look more attractive than as usual. Now when we talk about the flower arrangement, we have to keep in mind the different aspects which are required to do the flower arrangement. So first one is your design and shape. Design and shape in the sense after you do everything, you should know what design you are making and what shape it is. The different shapes, a triangle shape, horizontal shape, fan shape, uh, the crescent shape, these are different types of the shapes that we see in the flower arrangement. So design or shape nothing but specific design which can be attained only when the planned material container and shape is decided next scale and proportion scale and proportion in the sense how many flowers are we using to what proportions are we using so scale is a size relationship between flower and container should relate to each other in terms of color size texture for example too many flowers in an arrangement may upset the proportion. So it is not necessary that we put too many flowers. But we have to make sure whichever flowers we have used, it should uh, act as a proportion for whatever the materials or base that we have used. Next, balance. Created by equal distribution of weight through color, flower, material and design. It is very uneven if you put one lots of flowers at one side and little flowers at the other side. So we have to make sure the balance is maintained in while doing the flower arrangement. Next, focal point. Focal point is nothing but in one word, center of attraction, what we usually call. Point of an arrangement to which eye is naturally drawn in. It is a center of interest. It may be achieved by placing bright color, flower or beautiful flower. Focal point may be a base or center. Next, rhythm. Defined as movement of plant material in terms of color, shape, size, repeating lines which makes the eye move from one area to the other area. Rhythm is nothing but total all when you have a lot of bunches of lover, the rhythm or what to say when you hold it, it should look totally a beautiful one other than making it very unpleasant. Next, harmony. Harmony and unity are obtained by principles of focal point, balance, scale, rhythm and design. This means plant material, color and container should harmonize with each other. The aesthetic quality created through the pleasing interactions of materials used in a design, expressed when focusing on an overall relationship between all the component, mode or theme of composition. Harmony nothing but the entire composition of whatever scale, whatever proportion, whatever color we have used. Next, texture. We usually see that fresh flowers are brought than those of dried up. Defined as the feel of a flower, foliage which can be rough or smooth, velvet, satin look or coarse etc. Texture of flower and foliage should complement with each other. When the texture are varied, it can attract the attention of the weavers. Combining different texture adds interest to contrast. Last one is your color. Color is a dynamic factor. Choosing and blending color in a, is an art. Both the secondary and primary colors can be used. And the different equipments that we use in the flower arrangement. These are different type of the equipments. Maybe buckets, florist scissors, misters, watering can, floral tape, wire, knife. These are different types of Equipments that we use, whereas you see the oasis, we you see different prongs, the different cupboards, colors, and uh, the tapes, the um, rings, the plug, plucker. These are different types of equipments that we use in a day life. Thank you so much. You have a great day.